All right, so how's it going, everybody? We got ourselves a couple Bowmans. I was able to order two of these blaster boxes from the Topps website. I sure to ordered a couple more, but the next day I checked, again, they were sold out. I haven't been able to find any at the couple Walmarts here in the area. Or maybe if the prices go down a little bit, I'm not sure what they are on eBay. Maybe we'll see how this goes, but yeah, another birthday I'm sharing with you guys this year. Can't believe it, but 34 years old, you know, I'm thankful for being able to reach this age, you know, kind of thing. But what the heck is happening with time? <laughs> the the time flies thing is actually insane. I've been talking about with like my mom and a couple friends. So hopefully many more. Yeah, hopefully you've been doing well. Let me know if you've been getting any cards or anything like that. I always like know what people are collecting, what kind of thing, whatever sport you like. Yeah, I always like hearing about that. I always find it really interesting. So yeah, let's open these up, see if we can get some cool cards. Hopefully there's a lot of cards in here that we're able to send out the players try and get signed because I always love doing Bowman. Yeah, I'm thankful to all you people watching, you know, I always enjoy this. I think it's a lot of fun, even if there are only like 10 people watching, but yeah, like I've always said, I don't care if really anyone's watching, I'm still, I always have fun just making YouTube videos, so we're gonna have fun making YouTube videos. All right, let's get uh, the first box going. A Bowman. So, this is cool. I'm not entirely sure what all the prospects, I know that Drew Jones or whatever, right? That's the crazy guy that everyone wants. I saw about that like bounty thing for the Super Vector or whatever. It's like two hundred fifty thousand dollars or something, and then a million if he like makes the Hall of Fame. It's kind of funny. It's pretty. Wait, what is that? Are they ever? I feel like they never put anything on the inside. So I'm pretty sure I can't remember. This is the first time I've ever bought card like pack cards directly from tops that aren't in focus um, yeah i think it also said it came out of came from fanatics or something like that so hopefully that doesn't mean they're going to be emailing me for the rest of my life because oh my gosh i know um that they're i think they bought tops or whatever drew waters is he is he on the braves Drafted. Yeah, I think we got him to sign. <laughs> so I guess we got the veteran. And also, I've been, I watched some breaks of this stuff, and I absolutely love the design this year. Um, I will definitely be getting, oh, JJ Blue Day. Guess what? He's not a Marlin anymore. That, I guess that looks, no. Um, Zach, Nita, hasn't he been playing pretty well? I will definitely be trying to put together a, like full set of this guy prospecting. Yeah, that's prospect, okay. Uh, Pedro Ramirez, first Bowman, that's cool. And Marcelo Meyer. It's kind of, it's kind of got some, uh, can't really tell, <laughs> some lean to it. It's kind of a little warpage on that card. Hopefully this isn't going to be like, what was it, 22 Tops of Chrome? That was, uh... Those cards had some... Oh, I was like, wait. I thought that said Drew Waters again. But, yeah. I'm watching some baseball here and there. I think I said before, at Lee Rushman, that, um... We, my friend gave me his... Oh, these are cool. The Bowman Scouts Top 100. Those look really cool. Even, like, the inserts, inserts in this set look amazing. The, I think it's like the spotlight cards or whatever. I would love to put together, if it's not insanely expensive to do, that Carlos George first and Roman Well, oh, two first Bowman Chromes. That's what you want. That. I would love to put together the spotlight set. I think Drew Waters has a card in there, so that's probably like a million dollar card. So that probably won't happen. It, well, I mean, we don't have to get his. But I just think that set looks so good. And I'll, I think we got a refractor. Uh, it looks so good that I would love to put together, like, it would look so good in a binder, I would think. How does that card feel a lot thicker? Uh, I guess that's just insert, not refractor. Um, but yeah, I really like the inserts. They look very good. I don't know. Maybe try and put together, like, the base set and then try and see how much it's like reasonable to go for the 
A Marlin's guy? Cool. Reasonable to go for the Blake Crumb set, Jordan Groshans, Marlin. Then sites on September. That's cool. See, like the inserts look so good. Um, is that a refractor in the back? Wait, is that the Marlins guy? Uh, wait, we're losing track. I'm trying to keep the veteran stuff separate. Oh, well, it's like, is that green? What is that? Looks different. Is, it, is that like something special? Oh. Rare retail exclusive green parallel cards. It's not numbered or anything. It's kind of even hard to tell. It's just like the refract. It feels different though. Like it's not as, which is kind of weird. It's not as thick as the regular chrome. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Usually the parallel cards, especially like the recent years, are a lot thicker than the regular cards. And that's. Actually, it feels thinner than the regular. But, yeah, I've been trying to watch some baseball. Not Marlins baseball, because <laughs> that's uh, not really a good time. I saw he got hurt. It sucks. Also, Stan hurt again. Uh, I feel so bad for him. Jackson Merrill, top scouts. That's cool. Um, I, wish that, that, I just like watching him play. Regular Cruz. Let me some Giancarlo Stanton. And Aaron Judge. I was watching some of the games. Uh, Yankees games. Strictly just for them. And then I've been watching like a bunch of the Angels games. Just because Otani. Oh, Juan Soto. That's our dude. Just because um, Otani is amazing. And, oh, Jazz Chisholm. Oh, that pack, two, pack had two of our guys in it. That's cool. Osvaldo. What is this? Rookie of the Year. What is it? Favorites. That's kind of cool. But yeah, even that design. Like all the insert designs. They did a very good job this year. Look really cool. And two first Bowmans. We'll take that. Cool. So that was the first box. Um, I don't think anything was numbered. Wait, there's only just one of the green parallels? Well, let's restart the recording. Yeah, I've been watching basically every other team besides the Marlins. I was trying to watch the replay. I should watch the game today because I think they played a game today, May 5th. Uh, just watch it because it's my birthday, but that's that's kind of a horrible birthday present. I haven't seen if they won or lost. I know they've been playing the Braves pretty recently, quite a few games, like on the road and home. So I, I think it was the game yesterday. I think it was May 4th I was watching. I think it was the game. Maybe it was the third. I don't know. I just know... I was watching it and I saw in the second inning they were already losing. They, I think when I, I can't remember. Was, I don't. I forget when, if it was when I. It wasn't when I turned it on because I would watch it from the beginning. I just know they were losing. Christian Yelich, they have a bunch of his stuff. That I saw they were already losing six to zero. So I was like, okay, we're not a <laughs> next game because that's just not enjoyable baseball. You know, like maybe I don't even know if they scored some runs or anything like that later on. I think we've got those guys in the same exact order. Tell me the sorting by tops is going to be weird. We're just gonna get like, I think that's happened before. Have we, have we bought from tops? I don't know. But yeah, um, not too many Marlins games for me this year. But oh, we put a first Bowman over there. And there. Oops. And there. No, I'm down for the paper cards. Jonathan Mejia. It's cool. Mejia. Daniel. Daniel Gonzalez. Martin Gonzalez. Junior. Caminero. And Ariel Almonte. I feel like I've heard those names. Are those good guys. Prospects for their teams. I'm not even sure what for the Marlins. I think we've only got the one Marlins prospect. Um, Logan O'Hop. He's been, I think, didn't he just get injured kind of? But there's something greenish, I think, in there. Did he just get injured kind of thing? Julio Rodriguez. And then, wow, we got a, okay. Um, don't really know the name, Hayden. 
I can't even begin to laugh, but that's a green autograph. Is it, what's the, is it just a regular green out of 90, 61 and 99? Yo, I can't believe that. That's, uh, that doesn't happen very often. Like a, like kind of like a low numbered parallel card out of Bowman, a Bowman blaster box. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to get a sleeve for that. Sal Freilich. Well, thank you, Tops. Birthday present, Jeff Williams. Um, that there, is this another green? Wow, and the green. <laughs> That's, what a pack. And then we got the retail green. That was a earthy pack. A lot of green in there. Yo, that looks really cool. Is that just a regular green or is it a di different color? Because the I haven't really seen much of the colors. Um, that looks really cool. It's look. It almost looks like grass. Kind of thing. That I love these cards. I'm definitely gonna put together like the base chrome, uh, like a base chrome set. I'll even do the paper too. Paper is like cheap. <laughs> the chrome is where it gets expensive, but. The design on this year is so good. I love it. And then like the color, look at the color parallel. They did a very good job this year. That's cool. Um, yeah, see that one's thicker. It's kind of hard to tell. You can see the one on the left. And then the that's the like retail green. I'm not sure why the retail green's a thinner card than the Cause it's still it's still a chrome. Well, that's cool. We're gonna have to hold on to Hayden and see how uh, you know how's that go. Unless oh, it's like a million dollar card that I'm gonna get rid of it right now. That's really cool. I'm very surprised at that. <laughs> We've actually got a green uh, Bowman autograph. I can't remember if I made it a video or not. I swear I did, it was, but it was like a long, I think it was 2017 Bowman. It was right when I first started getting into, I probably should use my bigger sleeves, but he's in there. Um, I forget, it was a Red Sox guy in 2017 Bowman, but it was also a green. And that's pretty cool. That's really cool. I'm really happy. That's awesome. That was a cool birthday present then. Yo, I can't believe we got a green auto. And the first Bowman out of a blaster box. That's uh, that's cool. Maybe 2023 is my uh, baseball card year. Because past couple of years, we have not, opening up packs have not been, uh, have not been it. Grayson Rodriguez. Those inserts are really cool. Braylon Bishop, Sir De Paula, Esther Mercedes, Brooksley. Last pack. Well, that's uh, very cool. I'm really glad we did that. You know, maybe it's like a dollar card, but. <laughs> Dollar autograph card, but that's still really cool. I have no idea. I, I don't think I've heard of the guy. So we will have to look. Eduardo, Edward, Julian, Hector, Rodriguez, Roderick, Arias, and Michael Arroyo. So cool. First box, probably not the best Bowman box ever opened. It wasn't at all. Um, second box, though, you know, green autograph. 
I guess that's that. I guess that'll do for the only number card we got. <laughs> but yo, that was awesome. Let me uh clear the table off and I'll open some Pokemon. All right, and I also have this pack of Scarlet and Violet three packs. That I still haven't looked too much up about this set at all, but last time we opened, I think I had that in a video. The, is it, wait, where's the code card on this? That. I like the design a lot. Thought it was cool. That Pokemon is continuing the great art design that they've been keeping up the past couple of years. Well, this the entire Sword and Shield set. So that's cool. I'm about that. But let's see if we can get anything cool out of this. That's all. I should probably watch more videos on this just to know what's going on because I think there's like the two reverse hollows kind of thing and then I'm not sure how it works now. I feel like it's different. Rare candy reverse and wow. <laughs> okay, Gardevoir, Gardevoir EX. Is that like the full art right off the first pack? That's uh okay. <laughs> Pokemon, thank you, Klefki. We are, uh, okay, I'm just gonna say, we're gonna totally jinx it, aren't we? We're gonna ruin it. Um, 2023 is seemingly our card year. <laughs> this is how, like, first pack, full art Gardevoir. Pretty sure that's the full art card, right? Cause it's got the texture on it. That's really cool, it's got like a whole scene. That's awesome. Yo, we got some birthday bangers. Let's go. That. It's way better than all the years when I would open up CSGO cases with my friend and we would get absolutely nothing. Actually, the one here, one year you got a really good knife. That's, I think it's like a few thousand dollars. Of course, it wasn't me. And then, okay, so wait, what's going on here? So we got two reverse hollows. And then, is that like the hollow now? So a lot of these are like miscut, kind of, or off-centered. So that's the hollow now. Hollows are kind of, yeah. Reverse hollows are cool, but the hollows are kind of, I don't know. I wish they'd go back to the old holographic design. Like on my boy Charizard, like those designs are great. Like the holographic pattern kind of things. The regular holographics nowadays, or I guess like the modern ones. However many years they've changed over to that, I don't think it looked that good at all. Which is unfortunate, because they always have cool artwork. Still, I love the artwork. Scott, look at that hair cross. That looks awesome. Oh, look at that. Miriam. The two trainer reverses. And Halucha Hollow. That's off-center. These are all, a lot of these are off-center. So, okay, you know, we only got one card out of the first pack. That's probably worth more than a dollar, but that's really cool. That's a cool looking card, cool artwork. So, yeah, solid three packs of Pokemon, solid one box of Bowman. We got the autograph, and then we got a full art Pokemon card. Green autograph out of Bowman. That's really cool. Awesome. So, I think that was probably the first time we've ever not been disappointed on her birthday for opening up packs but yeah that was really cool well hopefully next year it'll be just as good you know but yeah appreciate all of you watching and let me know if you've been getting anything cool so as always thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed